How's it guys? So last year we took a look at the ASUS ZenBook Duo 2024 and this year we have to bring back the ZenBook Duo of 2025 and let's take a look at what cool improvements it does have and whether you should be choosing this or not. So this is the ASUS ZenBook Duo of 2025 and more specifically it's the model number UX8406 C or CA. So it's a dual 14 inch 3K OLED laptop with a detachable keyboard and a built in kickstand. Now looking at some of its specs it has or it comes with an Intel Core Ultra 9 285H processor with a base clock of 2.9 GHz and can be turbo clocked at up to 5.4 GHz. It has 16 cores and 16 threads and it comes with 32 gigs of LPDDR5 onboard memory. It also has Intel Arc graphics and the storage is 1TB N.2 NVMe PCIe 4 SSD. So when it comes to the design, it's a magnesium alloy build and it has a built-in kickstand at the back so that you can stand up this laptop and use it in all of its versatile modes. And it has its detachable keyboard. Now, when it comes to the weight of this device, this device weighs 1.65 kilograms. So I think it's 300 grams for the keyboard and then 1.3 for the dual laptop or dual screen device. So speaking of dual screen devices, right? So these are dual 14 inch 3K, so 2880 by 1800 OLED touch screens with 120 Hertz refresh rate, 100% DCI-P3 color gamut, as well as Palatone validated and this comes with stylus support. And when you purchase this, it actually comes with the stylus as well. The battery is a 75 watt hour battery, so you get 10 hours worth of usage, as well as a 65 watt charger. In terms of its ports, it has one USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A port. It has two Thunderbolt 4 supporting display and power delivery. And it has one HDMI 2.1, a 3.5 mm combo audio jack. In terms of connectivity, this has Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.4. The keyboard, it's a detachable full-size keyboard that has 1.4 millimeter key travel. And the keyboard itself, it'll be interesting for you to know that you could use this in a sort of a contact mode with the keyboard. So when it's connected here, it'll work. Or you could enable a Bluetooth mode here. And then the Bluetooth mode allows you to use the keyboard almost like a wireless keyboard. So you can just type, 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 type and do your thing. The keyboard also has a type C for charging. So if you want to use it wirelessly, you can charge it up. So it has a full HD IR supported uh, camera for Windows Hello. It is Harman and Kardon certified speakers for Dolby Atmos, and it has smart amp technology. Now let's get down to the target of this device. So this is ideal for creative professionals, multitaskers, and tech enthusiasts who require a versatile and powerful laptop for content uh, creation and productivity, as well as the need of two screens. Because I mean, you consider people who travel and stuff that need multiple screens to work with. Instead of you lugging around an, an additional screen or anything like that, you use this and this solves all of your issues. Uh, so this device is currently retailing for uh, 43,999 rands and it is available in an inkwell grey um, and you can purchase this from the ASUS South Africa website, Take A Lot and most of your other major electronic detail, uh, retailers. Since we spoke about the ZenBook Duo of 2024 and the ZenBook Duo 2025, what is the difference between these devices? I think if we had to look at the difference between 2024 and 2023, that was a major difference because 2023 came with, I think it was a three inch display at the top of the keyboard. Now this is coming with a full 13 inch, uh, 14 inch screen, right? And I think this is the pinnacle of where this laptop needs to be. I, personally, I don't think this needs to be 
uh, upgraded or, or anything more done to this device. So on that note, the ZenBook Duo of 2025 actually features a CPU upgrade, right? So the CPU upgrade is moving to the Core Ultra 9, the 14 gen processors. And this has obviously higher base clock, higher turbo clocks, whereas the previous version had the 15, uh, 185H uh, processor. Right, so basically more intensive workloads and all of those things. Now, coming down to the pros and the cons, this as well, um, most of the pros and cons carry forward from last year, so it's innovative with a dual touch 14 inch display, high quality OLEDs for excellent color accuracy, and now powerful performance thanks to the Intel Core Ultra 9 processor. Not forgetting its versatile use modes with the detachable keyboard and the kickstand. Now, when it comes to the cons, I think the battery life is one of the first things. It may be limited if you're using both screens intensively. And one of the second ones that sort of bugs me a little bit is limited port selection. So like, for example, if we're saying a creator, there's no micro USB port, so they would have to be carrying a dock with them. And that is a bit of a schlep. I mean, if you're spending so much money on this device, Right, and I understand it's thin and everything else. The last con has to be the price point. So I mean, it's 40,000 Rand. Um, and most people are actually scared of breaking their laptop screen or, or anything like that. Sometimes like, you know, when you throw it in your bag, there might be something in between that will damage the laptop or anything like that. So a lot of people are scared about one screen. So imagine how scared you'd be with two screens. Um, yeah. Ironically, um, when I actually first lifted this laptop, I felt like this device is actually heavier than the previous uh, model, but it might just be me because the last time I, well, when I reviewed the device the last time, it was um, like nearly eight months ago. So yeah, but I mean, from the specs, you can tell that this is a, um, it is the same weight. So I'm just being paranoid about it. So in conclusion, I mean, if you're looking for something budget with two screens, I would say maybe consider the 2024 version. Um, you are sacrificing some sort of performance for it, but when it comes to considering the 2025 version, as I said, this has reached the pinnacle of where it needs to be because you consider you can use it in kickstand mode, you can use it in a double screen mode, you could use it in a tablet mode. So one of the main differences besides the processor is the fact that they have taken away, ASUS has taken away the ability of using tablet mode. So what tablet mode was, was the ability of swinging the hinge all the way around and you having back-to-back -back screens. So the ASUS ZenBook Duo of 2024 stood out as a groundbreaking laptop. And this just takes the processing and the power in the laptop to the next level. So if you wanna pick up one of your own, there's a link in the description below to the ASUS South Africa website. And if you enjoyed this video, guys, you can let me know by giving a like rating if you did. If you aren't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss on any of our future videos. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. My name is Prashant, and I will catch you in the next video.